Genetic testing clarifies risk, and knowing your risk allows you to take the steps you need to protect your health. What role does family history play in getting colon cancer, and should it play a role in whether you should be getting genetic, genetically tested? Family history, colon cancer is one of the most hereditary forms of cancer, meaning that a lot of it is influenced by family history. We've got, I call them the Trump genes, the big genes, the genes that trump all other risk factors like the Lynch syndrome genes or other genes. There's also evidence that there are a lot of other genes that stack up with smaller hits so that you might inherit some minor genes that also influence your risk. Those are harder to find, um, but with the Genome Project, we'll be seeing those as well. Anyone who has a close relative with colon cancer needs to start screening sooner and they need to go more often. Um, when there's a family history of colon cancer, you do, it's just what you think. You start sooner, you go more often, and you use better tests or use the best available tests. That's the safest thing to do. 75% of colon cancer cases do not involve a family history, though. Does that mean genes just haven't been discovered that, or mutations haven't been discovered that that percentage of the population may have? There may be genes. There may be undiscovered genes. There may be genes that interact with our environment in different ways in different people. But most cancer does occur by chance. Cancer is caused by an accumulation of genetic damage in several genes over time. And some of that, honestly, just happens by chance. Can a family history begin with one person? In other words, do you necessarily have to trace it all the way back to your ancestors? Or could one person be the beginning of a family history? One person can be the beginning of a family history. Um, most Lynch syndrome genes appear to have been passed down through the generations. There are not very many reports of it starting new. Other colon cancer genes frequently start new. Um, the other more common colon cancer gene um, starts new in people about one, in four, one fourth of the time. Like my husband. It, it could be, we, depending on right? what he had. Yes. Yeah. You talked about how it increases your chances if you have Lynch syndrome, mm -hmm. of, of, of being diagnosed with colon cancer during your lifetime. But is this cancer more the diagnosis, the average age of diagnosis for people with Lynch syndrome is 45? So interesting question about the cancer being aggressive. Here, let me tell you about the features of Lynch syndrome cancers. They tend to occur at earlier ages. The polyps progress more quickly to colon cancers. The, there's a higher chance of developing a second colon cancer. Not that that one comes back, not that that cancer hit out and comes back, but that a new one starts in a different cell. Uh, people with Lynch syndrome who've had colon cancer have a 50-50 chance of getting another one within 15 years. So the, there's a higher rate of second primary cancers. The colon cancers in people with Lynch syndrome, the colon cancers themselves are not more aggressive. In fact, there's something about the problem, the underlying problem that it appears actually gives these tumor a better prognosis when matched to stage by stage to non-Lynch syndrome tumors. What is yeah. the beauty of being tested for Lynch syndrome for the people who do test positive? I think for every genetic test result comes with a mixed emotion. Um, for people who test positive, there can be satisfaction in knowing, in knowing it, what it is I have, what I'm dealing with, and knowing what my action steps are going to be to protect my health. 